Hello and welcome back again to another tutorial after a very long time. I'm finally doing another tutorial because I noticed um, people were having troubles with zero hour moods, you know, mood being zero hour. So I'm going to fix that problem in the easiest way, which is gen launcher. So uh, first you have to go to, you know, uh, mood DB and search for gen launcher. Once you get to gen launcher, of course the, the link will be in description. You will go to files and then you will see this is the latest version, gen launcher 1001. And then you will download from here and you are press on download and here you are downloading. Okay, so here I, I already have uh, the John Launcher. You will just extract to here. Okay, so here is John Launcher. Okay, so you know what I actually do? Uh, I I just put it in this you know the zero hour file directory. You have to copy it to there, and then you will run as administrator. Did you see that there was something that changed? When you open the gen launcher, it created a gen launcher folder. This is wherever uh, your stuff go in. I will show you something. Okay, so once you get to gen launcher, of course, this is the, uh, the updating mode and then edit mode or another mode if it doesn't exist. So if you go to here, edit mode, as you can see, we have lots of modes. This makes everything easy. You will just find a mode you want and you will install it. Let's, let's just say I want shockwave mode, add it, and it will automatically install it in this way. So we are going to wait for it. Okay, so the download is done. Now we can launch the game. As you can see, we have launch game, world 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 and change to full screen. Uh, this is this is well this this okay now it is full screen, but if we tap again, it will be windowed. Now full screen and window. Change to normal start. Uh, you know we have. I will just change to fast start. And also before we go into the game, uh, we can also have patches installed for the game. Okay, so this is. As you can see, this is 1.201, 1.2.5 beta 8. And then also you can have add-ons too. As you can see, there are some add-ons. But like I said, if, if you want something, a mode or add-on or something that doesn't exist here, okay, so as you can see, um, I want single experience for Shockwave, but we don't have it here. I've installed the single player separately. As you can see, Shockwave, single player this is so this is what added more stuff for uh, shockwave that's an add-on so what we're gonna do is to add add-on or we can say add a patch or add mode from file so so since this is an add-on i'm going to for add-on i will tap from here i will find um uh, okay here is something it should be in where are like packed i mean it it should be compressed like this. So here is the gen launcher. Uh, wait, no, I mean, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so here is Shockwave single player experience. I will open it. And then I will name it something, single player. Single player. And the version, if, uh, if you want to add it, what's the version? 2 point, wait, 2.1.3. Okay. And it is going to add the add-ons add-on for you you have to wait for it it depends on uh of course your computer and the amount of uh, space of this okay. okay so i was waiting for this to be installed this and this okay so once we are done also you have to remember you have to select what you want see now nothing is selected now the mode is selected and then when you go to patch, you can do the same here. Look, you can do the same thing. And also this shows um, what versions you have, but I have only one. And then add-ons, I can select what I want. Whereas, yeah, okay, here's mine. But also keep in mind that uh, some things, so, some of things may not work together. Like I tried to play this add-on 
with this patch in a start, uh, I don't remember what happened, but when I got into the game, uh, single player wasn't, uh, wasn't working. So I had to turn this off before I get into the game. So I'm just saying that if something didn't work, make sure you turn off the other one. Okay, so before we get to the game, just to show you something extra, if you go to options here, you can see it has a lot of options here. You can do it whatever you desire. And also, I forgot to mention something about this course. Um, I will also put the link in the in description, but you can also join the Discord mode here. If you had a question or you have an error or something, you can do that. Also, you can do the rest, the rest of stuff if you want. Set recommended setting if you want, and then you can apply it. But I don't want to apply it. Just let me close it. Okay, so let me check if they are the same. Okay, never mind. They're just changed. Anyway, so once you're done, you will just head to the game. Launch. Looks like you're running the game for the first time. Would you like to? Okay, I will just set default settings. Okay, and above this one, check the identity of their mode. It checks if your uh, game is like it doesn't have any problems or anything like that. But I will just say no because my game, I am sure it will work. It won't have any errors. Okay, now let's wait for the shockwave to start. As you can see, it worked. And like I said, uh, I had single player install. As you can see, I have campaign now. It means it worked. So that's pretty much is it. Thank you guys for watching and also um, thank to the maker of this gen launcher. He made things much easier. You can have lots of nodes in one launcher only. So this is pretty handy. So that's all. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to check um, the description for Discord mode of Gen Launcher if you had any error or something to fix it. Thank you for watching.